Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another car video. Taking it to the streets. And I know I be talking some stuff on here. And, well, I be meaning the stuff I'm talking, but nah, this ain't about fight. Um, it's going to be the last video I have up until Monday. I mean, if you're on my Patreon, definitely check out my Patreon. I'm going to have some stuff up there tomorrow. But this is my last one on any of my YouTube channels because I got that uh, the third annual Self-Improvement Summit coming up. Why well, shouldn't say annual? We've had a couple within the last year, you know, uh, organized by the illustrious C. Boogie. And let me just say something real quick because, you know, I'm just going to say this shit. A lot of people want to try to go in on C Boogie for a bunch of reasons, but that's one thing. Take it to the streets. Seriously, it's easy to talk trash about somebody behind um, a screen name or something or in the comments, but if you got an issue with somebody, look them in the eye. That's why even when some people coming in on me and stuff, I don't, I don't say anything because I can't look them in the eye. I can't reach out and touch them. You know? Seriously. So, you know, you got to get that brother some credit. For organizing something in the real world. Because I'm going to be real, man. I would prefer, personally, I prefer to do more stuff live. I mean, COVID slowed down a lot of plans that I had. It's a lot of plans. I was going to go big time because I can organize some stuff. And I used to organize stuff all the time. I was going to get back into it. And especially all my, uh, all my brothers and even some ladies that's in the uh, Harford County area, Baltimore area. Hit me up privately. Hit me up privately. Because when this thing dies down enough, oh, we're going to start partying. We're going to have some serious stuff, workshops, stuff like that, but also just some partying. Yeah. But taking it to the streets, I'm going to tell you something now. That's where you got to go. Because this is a problem, and this is more or less what I see overall. I see people beefing, going back and forth. You know, but they hide behind screen names and stuff or they got plans. They talking about, well, this is what we should do for the community. All of this. All right. Take it out to the streets. Take it out to the streets. Like one of the buddies, one of the brothers in my inner circle. He shoot. He was just he's out in San Diego and stuff. He was telling me uh, how he just had an event at a barbershop. You know, it's easy to get online and say all this and have all these plans. But then you got to make some stuff happen. Man, girl, you got some big legs. You know, I see everything. Oh, that's another thing. People say I'm always paying attention to everything. That's growing up in a rough area. You keep your head on the swivel. You see everything. Trust me, I'm even checking the mirror. Somebody came from back there. Trust me, I already peeped them and shit. You got gotcha. you. Death can come from any place. Somebody come and stick you up or something from any place. You know, so I keep my eyes. I don't care where I am. Even in this neighborhood I'm in, I remember I was driving one time, man, had about four or five uh, redneck motherfuckers trying to uh, drive all close to my car. They were trying to play around and stuff, but then when one got close, I just opened my um, glove compartment and kind of flashed something. He must have signaled to everybody else that knows this driving got normal again. But, you know, it's... Uh, when I say take it to the streets, because at some point, if you're trying to really do something, if you ain't just over here talking shit, because I can see a lot of guys saying, we should do this for, we should do this, or we should do this. All right, well, you got to get out there and talk with people. Everybody ain't online. And people need to see what you're doing. See, like, I talk body game and all of that stuff. I like for people to see me. You know, I don't feel like having to do videos and stuff where, uh, you know, you're showing the full body and stuff. I want people to see me in person. I want people to see me in person. They see I'm talking the talk. In fact, anybody... Uh... No, I ain't going to do it. I was going to uh, say something, but this was something more personal. I'll just do that later. But seriously, if you... Uh... Any man, any man especially, got to be prepared to take his shit on the road. I don't care what it's for. You know, anything you got to be in whatever thing, whatever stand you got as a man, you got to be ready to look people in the eye and uh, stand by. You got to be ready to stand by. That's how much you got to believe in it. Well, not even believe in it. No, that's your principles and stuff, you know. And plus, 
it's a different vibe. I'm gonna tell you what, I love doing live events because it's just a totally different vibe. You know, it's one thing, you know, you're interacting with somebody and you're reading like their comments and everything. You know, and they might have some insightful shit, but it's different when they're standing right there next to you. Because then you can really size them up, communicate with them, see what their stance is, see how, see the look in their eyes and everything. You know, understand that, yes, indeed, they are a man. Or, you know, even when you're dealing with women. A lot of guys talking about this whole social media thing. I'm going to tell you what. Or, you know, dating apps and all of that. That's cool. But, you know, I'm that big one. I tell I got to see you in person. I don't take you serious. I, you know, I can be real cool with you. I can get an idea about a woman's energy, you know, if I'm talking with her. And which is, you know, this is enough of a communication. But when I really see him in person, that's when it's up. You know, it makes a big ass difference. In fact, I remember this one time uh, I was organizing, helping to organize this expo, this expo down in the D.C. area. And it was a woman and she, man, she was on some contentious shit. You know, that bossy shit. Right. Want to challenge everything I see. Right. But then when we met in person, she shut up. She must have looked me in the eyes and stuff and realized, oh, yeah, I've been in that place. She was super cooperative. <laughs> you know? And that's the thing, though. That's the thing. A lot of dudes got to be that way. Because, I mean, look, you know, if you got a plan, you got something, I'm going to see if you're getting out there doing the work. You know? If you want to make change, you're doing the work. Who are you reaching in the streets? You know? Because I'm going to be real with y'all. For everything I say on here, y'all don't know. Y'all, I don't really broadcast who I talk to in the streets that much. Maybe a couple videos and stuff. In fact, I'm supposed to do a video with uh, Brother B. You listening, man? We still got to do that video and stuff. That's an alpha showpiece, you know. And we got to like, you know, show this works. So we doing this in the real world and stuff, you know. Just uh, being out here, you know interacting with people and everything and you know people trying to learn something and then working on the plan or something you know because there's groups out here I'm familiar with they're getting out in the community cleaning up or interacting with uh, people pulling hey, grabbing some coattails and all of that shit you know and that's really and you know that whole thing bigger than just dealing with women that's a small part because really, as I always say, the woman is really the commercial to the man's main program. And, you know, guys got to get out here. They got to do that work in more ways than one. You know, because one of the things I always got a problem with, if you say something, you got to stick with it. That's why, that's why, like, if somebody ever questioned my word on something, I'd be ready to fight. Because the way I learned growing up, a man's word is his bond. And psh, I've seen people fucked up over questioning somebody's word, you know? So everything I'm talking, when I'm talking about body game, when I'm talking about getting out here hustling and shit, well, shoot, or, you know, dealing with my sons. Shoot, people out in the real world see it. In fact, that's the main reason I got, uh, I keep my uh, IG and, like, uh, show, like, glimpses and stuff to show you. I don't necessarily show it on YouTube because I don't be thinking like that. I don't be thinking like that, but when I'm on IG, oh, right here, oh, let me take a picture of me and my son's fishing. Well, them fishing, you know, them fishing. Or, you know, me and my son's hiking. Or, you know, random young ladies that I know in the world, world just interacting with them. She got one video, speaking of young ladies, I actually said that she was at a kiosk at a local mall, Towson Town Center, and I said, oh, yeah, this is my buddy. I've known her for one minute. <laughs> Uh, actually, I did. I said, hey, hey, shit, you cool? Hey, you want to get on you? You want to get on IG, uh, IG real quick? Get some people down here? You want to show Real cool person. But, uh, you know, got to get out here. Because, I mean, honestly, and overall, I got a real problem with guys who just sit behind a computer. I got a real problem with that. That's men supposed to get out. Even with this... Uh, coronavirus and stuff you can still go outside and take a walk even during the worst lockdown they were saying hey you know what go outside take walks or something you know get out there in nature 
So, you know. So I'm going to tell you what, though. So for the real life thing coming up, industries thing coming up. Dude, dude, no, no, not this way, motherfucker. Shit. Damn, I'm trying to move. Um, so for, uh, let me see my buddy here today. You know. It's going to be a good time for everybody who already signed up for the summit and everything. Yeah. Y'all going to see, Rom, I'm going to be a little bit more relaxed, though. I wore a suit last time. But I'm going to come in there. I'm going to come in there with my uh, Timberland Chuckers. <laughs> my Ralph Lauren jeans. Shit, my Joseph's Abood uh, sweater. Maybe that. Maybe I might wear another sweater. It depends because it's going to be kind of cold down there. I don't know. Well, I'm going to be chilling. And my Gian Yami necklace on. Shit. We're going to have a good time. I'm Like, for everybody signed up for it, I'm going to hit y'all with some deep stuff. I'm going to hit y'all with some deep ass shit. Because I'm going to tell you something now about when I do public. People think I'm giving away some shit now. I really don't share. I share very, very little online. And indeed, even on my private sites, even on uh, my ROM TV, or even on my on-demand videos. I give you just enough. Some shit I won't give you unless you are in my presence. You you in my presence, you talking and stuff. Because I like remember at the last self-improvement summit, you know, everybody was chilling at a uh, local Fridays and stuff. And there was some game. Me, I, oh, man. That brother I was talking to, we were outside. One come going to Baltimore. Damn, brother. No disrespect, I forgot your name, but we were chopping up some shit. We were chopping up pimp level game. <laughs> we were just, we were just looking at people. We say, nah, he ain't getting nothing. Oh yeah, yeah, she trying to run that game on him. <laughs> we were just sitting there chilling. <laughs> we were sitting around chilling. There was some other stuff happening. I ain't gonna share online. You <laughs> know, with some other folks, but yeah, that's how you gotta be though. You know, because that's when I mean, that's when you really free. You see each other. And see, one thing with men fellowship in person, with men fellowship in person, that actually keeps the peace because a man knows if he get out of line, he come out of pocket, then that other person come out of pocket too. So that's the way men keep the peace. You know, look each other in the eye and everything and, you know, no. You know, indeed, a warrior is two warriors. They can look at each other now and say, you know what? This, this one won't be a tough one, so I'm, you know, I'm going to chill out. But that keeps the peace. And then you really get some shit done. You can fill out each other and stuff. That's why, I like, in business and stuff, they be having those face-to-face. In many cultures, they have face-to-face -face meetings over a meal or something. Indeed, a lot of business is actually conducted in, like, uh, seemingly relaxed places like the country club and stuff. You know, that's why uh, getting into country clubs is always big for especially black men. Getting into those high, high right risk, uh, high, high falutin, uh, high money, big money country clubs because they know it's about business. You know, being in person. But, you know, but yeah, taking it to the streets. Yeah, I'm going to have a good time too. Because uh, I ain't going to say exactly where the thing is, but like I told him at the last one, that was my stomping ground. It was one of my stomping grounds. <laughs> you know what? Just real quick. Anytime something happened in D.C., I know it not so much by the landmark, but which women I was dealing with in what area. <laughs> That's some shit, eh? I was like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I remember this person. That's how I found my way around a lot of places. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> different parks. Oh yeah, yeah, back seat over that park right there. <laughs> yeah, but um anyway though, I'll get back with y'all on Monday. You know, you know, you know, I'm gonna get back into it and everything. Alright, so anyway, I get back with y'all and for the people, for the men and women who gonna be at the uh, summit, oh yeah, Uncle Ron gonna cut up. Yeah, I bet be ready to cut up after af, after the uh after the summit too. And shoot. And when y'all see those buffalo wings in front of Ron, y'all know not to ask me anything. Y'all know not to ask. Just let me eat. Let, let me eat. You can wave and shit. Be... When you see the when you see all the bones emptied, then you could be like, hey yo, what's up, Uncle Ron? How you doing, man? Oh, I'm fine now, man. <laughs> Anyway, I get back with y'all next week. All right, peace and blessings.